Greetings, Command. Greetings. Greetings. We are here again for episode 28. Okay? Slotham buries the Darius Trucks and Army. Chinless Queefy Boy. Little Queefers. 2772 Smell Manor. This piece of trash has been opening his fat mouth recently on his dumb little live stream talking about me and the snakes, huh? You want to talk some smack, Darius Trucks, huh? Why are you such a coward to the point where you're friggin' banning the word Slotham that people in your live chat can't even say my name anymore, so they have to talk about me in a different kind of sense. Oh, the green mask guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, th this guy. Nah. Slotham is my name, and I live rent-free in your head. Queefy. Hey, Darius, you're some loser that proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo Toys and gave her 50 reasons why she should marry you, Darius Truxton, huh? Your little adult diaper changing table. You got friggin' your little little glass of chocolate milk, right, to start your little jobless day on your friggin' adult table where you got Prince of Diapers in a friggin' diap adult's Cry, uh, adults tiger crinkle diaper launching a rocket deuce. That's you, little queefers. You piece of trash. You want to come here and talk smack about me and the snakes? Why don't you do it in a video? Why don't you do it in an actual upload where you're sitting at your dumb little friggin' kitchen table with your dirty vent above your head, which you haven't cleaned in friggin' ages, you prick? But you're not gonna, because you don't have a set of balls to address me anymore in videos. You have no charisma. You have no energy. You have no nothing at all to fight back the snakes and me. We own your life. 2772, we have leverage over you, little queefers. Darius Truxton has a furry friend who's attracted to dragons, proposed with a dragon amiibo. Yeah, you might as well, Darius Truxton, because your proposal to Ursha Gaming didn't really work out, did it, huh? Yeah, this one, this stage two e-girl, hot Norwegian chick, is way out of your league, little queefers, all right? She doesn't want some chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle, loser, sitting at his kitchen table with 50 reasons, high on friggin' crack, talking about marrying Ursha Gaming, and you got a friggin' laundry basket full of amiibo toys. You're pathetic, queefers. And we have our first super chat of the day. Thank you so much, Ron Damon. There's no comeback for Oasis Carl. Yeah, Carl. Friggin' Carl, I got something to say about you, you fat racist prick, huh? You want to sit there and say that Mexicans steal, smuggle drugs, go to jail, when we're just telling you that friggin' Kentucky people kiss each other as cousins? That's who you are, Carl. You're a racist fat prick with fat flabs all over the place. You got Q-tips hanging all over your stupid room because you want to say, ooh, my eyesight, I don't really see anything. Yeah, meanwhile, when it benefits you, you see everything, but when it doesn't benefit you and we're calling you out on your crap, Crap, that's when you start saying, oh, I have bad eyesight. Shut up, Carl. All right? Hammock Man isn't here to save you against the wrath. No, you're a piece of trash, Carl. You and your friggin' fat flaps and your friggin' old racist bag dad that you have. Your father, Carl, is also an old racist prick. I can guarantee you that right now. And here you are bragging that you got a friggin' dirty vent just like friggin' Darius Truxton. Grow up, Carl. All right, you're in your friggin' mid-40s. You're a short bus rider just like Rabbit Dude. You sit in your room like a fat loser with no job, no car, no girlfriend. You can't even get a hard on anymore because you're a fat idiot. You look like fat bastard from friggin' Austin Powers. You sicken me, Carl. You're a pathetic loser, Carl. All right, you are the one that needs to get eliminated. You are the virus of this community, and you must get extinguished because you're a piece of trash. Thank you, Ron Demon, for the two bucks. Right now, we only, right now, we only know of one band word on Darius Truxton's band word list. Yes, it's friggin' Slotham. Thanks a lot, Darius Truxton. Huh? I'm the one who made it to the first of the line of the band word. Most people ban swear words. Most people ban derogatory statements, this and that. You banned the word Slotham, the same guy that you started a fight with, Queefy Boy. You started this crap show, and now here I am friggin' bringing the heat right to your face. Here I am bringing your crap right back to your face. I'm like, you want to go? Let's friggin' go, Queefy Boy. And then you banned the word Slotham because you're a coward. You always were a coward. I can see it in your eyes, Darius Truxton. You were a coward since day one. And then you got Keith Elwood Fears Pizza. It looks like the Toronto Game Expo is on March 23rd, 2024. The snakes will be there, Queefy Boy. Mm -hmm. 
And hey, Darius, if you were a smart person, you might as well stay away from that because guess what? All fingers are going to be pointed right at you, Queepers. Every single one because you're chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle. I made videos every single day roasting the hell out of you. Now, everyone in the retro gaming community knows how much of a scumbag you are. So no matter where you go when it comes to retro gaming community space, they know you're that piece of trash that hired a stripper named Destiny to go with you to the Blue Jays game because you're such a cock and you're such a simp. 250 plus vendor tables at the Toronto Game Exer. Pick me up. Sitting there with his little double XL shirt. Hey, pick me back. Pick me back. Balloon fight. fight. He looks at you and tells you to shut up. He wants to play with normal people. Darius, please put on please put on a panel at the Toronto Game Expo as to why you proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo toys. Yeah, why did you do it, Queefers? Why did you propose to her stage two e-girl, the hot Norwegian chick with Amiibo toys? There ain't no way in hell she's going to look twice at a guy that eats for and TV dinners every single night. Darius, you got the, you thought the snakes wouldn't find out about the Toronto Game Expo. Guess again. Yeah, Queefers. And guess what? You thought the snakes wouldn't find out about this. Well, we found out, huh? Here you are simping LA night. LA night. Belly out, hands up in the air. You're acting like a cock, Darius Trucks. And you're sitting five rows behind because you have no money. You're a friggin' loser with nothing to do but instead of get buried by the snakes. Queef looking forward to Marine Land season opener. Of course he is, because he's a loser. He's never had a girlfriend in his life at all. Never again. He never will. And he made up some imaginary girlfriend with friggin' two kids going through a divorce and ready to sell her house. Yeah, like she has the time to head on over to 2772 Smell Manor and friggin' eat a TV dinner with a queefy boy who smells like cat piss. 24-7. Estella should sue James Campbell for every one of his $20 bills as alimony payments. I want to know what happened to Estella, James. Hey, James, you're sitting there drinking your cheap goddamn beer with your stupid $400 and 20s and your stupid 14 karat gold chain. You're so stupid. You buy a 14 karat gold chain. You come on YouTube and brag about it, calling yourself a Mac daddy. Meanwhile, you're married to a freaking 400 pound fat Estella wife that has a that's 16 years older than you and has a mask and a haircut. That's you or James Campbell. You're that same piece of trash, James, that you went and told people. So it's safer to jaywalk. You come back on YouTube looking like this with Estella's Tampax on your head, looking like a Homer Simpson bandage. You're sitting there saying that you got hit by a car. Yeah, because you're a short bus rider, Carl. You are a short bus rider. C -c -c Carl, where are you? Yeah, where are you, Carl? Huh? Where are you, fat lord? I thought you're some guy that... Oh, I remember Carl saying he's a zombie? Uh, he'll never be defeated. He'll always come back. Where are you, Carl? Huh? You're a racist fat prick. That's what you are, Carl. And you know that. Ham Hammy is not here to save you anymore. Friggin' geek getaway, that slobbering moron, is not here to save you anymore, friggin' Carl. Carl, you're a piece of trash. I don't like your guts. And your face is ugly. Hands down. And we have another super chat. From Ron, uh, from Plato's Punk, nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Thank you so much, my friend. I always appreciate it. You say to me, "Have a good week." I will have a good week because in this upcoming week, along with you know Gerard and Phoenix Resale, we're gonna roast Darius Truxton. He's gonna have a reek full of Slotham's wrath and the snakes having leverage over this piece of trash, Darius Truxton. Hey, Darius. Guess what, buddy? Keith Elwood fears pizza. If you go on uh, Google and type in Keith Elwood, guess what comes up? This comes up. Because you fear pizza, queefy boy. Keep crying, queef. Keep crying, queef. Keep crying, queef. And guess what? Your landlord, Robert, is going to get another friggin' welfare check. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry like a little girl in your cat piss smelling apartment in your stupid little command center filled with friggin' CRT TVs. The Queefsta says, I am the master of all incels, and I demand everyone to acknowledge me. Yeah. Also, love this channel. Thank you so much, The Queefsta. You are correct. I like your avatar. Incel Dirty Vent in 2772 Smell Manor. Because that suddenly says, at 2772, gluten-free dominoes, Queefy boy. Gluten-free dominoes. I hear you talking smack, Darius, on your live chat saying, oh, dominoes this and dominoes that. Yeah, dominoes again. Dominoes friggin' again. You're going to get another one. And there's nothing 
nothing you can do. All right. Sit there and cry about it because that's all you can do with your bunch of insult friggin' trucks and army members like Dave C, who's a racist prick, beats his wife, comes on YouTube, and that piece of trash laughs about it like the little racist prick he is. Carl is sniffing Q tips to find one that's clean enough to you. <laughs> Okay. Of course, yeah. He's sniffing his own freaking wax out of his belly button because he's a fat lard. He sits in his room like fat bastard from Austin Powers with freaking man boobs. He's so disgusting. He smells like cheese. And then he relies on his freaking racist old prick dad to take him to the goddamn next fast food joint to stuff his fat face with a Big Mac. Let's get it. Hey, T-Jax, remember when you freaking... Uh, defended queefy boy here remember t jacks he defended queefy boy you thought you were some tough guy huh oh really oh really huh you have a nice wife you have a nice girlfriend nice place nice job you learned real quickly didn't you t jacks huh snakes have leverage over you you got the hell out of there real quickly now you can't be seen on friggin darius truxton's live chats anymore because the snakes are watching we have eyes everywhere and we will always defeat whoever comes in our path R.I.P. Queefy Boy. Yeah, rest in peace, Queefy Boy. Look into my eyes. Darius Truxton, Keith Elwood of Gray's Road. Well, guess what? He fears pizza. And then after he eats his gluten-free Domino's, he's going to go bend over to her L.A. night here, uh, friggin' with his hands up in the air, begging to be bent over. Virgin Queefy Boy. Yeah, of course he's a virgin. Makes up a story about a friggin' uh, uh, imaginary girlfriend. Look into my eyes, Queefy Queeferson. Indeed. Keep crying, Queefy. 2772, Queefy boy. Queef's feeling tough. He must have found someone new to fight his battles for him. Yeah, geez, I wonder what happened to that guy that looks like Cyan Razor Saw that opened his fat mouth defending Queefy boy. Yeah, he got exposed too. Everyone gets exposed. If you're trying to come here and defend Queefy boy, your whole life's going to be ruined too. Just like Darius Truxton. Hey, Darius, you spent more time friggin', um, uh, uh, friggin' thinking about your two dead cats than your own friggin' dad. You are a vile, disgusting human being. We have Dausha Newman, some chicken-legged piece of trash with MS, sitting there talking at 0 0.5 miles per hour, destroying every single goddamn stream he goes on. You duff, you duffers, I mean you cool cats. Shut up, Dausha. You're a friggin' loser with your dumb little kid, uh, friggin' chicken legs waiting for Ricardo to go live so you control him. Yeah, Ricardo, some friggin' failed father with uh, that left his friggin' daughter in Brazil at uh what at five years at five years old. Let me find this. Look at this piece of trash. This filthy, miserable looking friggin' in the closet loser that left his daughter in Brazil at five years old comes over to America to stick NES cartridges up his behind. Then after that, when he's in America, sending money to his friggin' daughter back home, his best friend in Brazil marries his ex-wife and becomes the new father of his daughter. How did that one feel, Ricardo? How did it feel, Ricardo, having a channel of 18 years and then you wanted to be added into my rotation, you got added, and then right away you lost your channel. How did that one feel, you prick? I know what you did. You walked outside, touch grass like a loser and cried on the internet. Ursha is happily married love. Indeed it is. And oh my God, look who it is. Oh my friggin' God. It's Alt Account 1, the legend. The legend Alt Account 1. Oh, am I glad to see you, Alt Account 1, my friend. $1.99. Thank you so much, my friend. $27.72. 2772. You are the legend that heard that and found it out. You even got the schematics. You got the schematics of this place right here and even proved it and said that is the place. And you are correct. Alt account one, the legend, his return might be soon. Do I miss you? Everyone misses you, Alt account one. You are a legend. Thank you so much. 2772, Queefy boy. Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. C -c -c Carl has been in hiding. Albert has been hiding. Yeah, Albert. Albert, this friggin' loser that wears lipstick in public like an idiot, right? He's like, oh, I'm going to bury the friggin' snakes and bury this guy. Oh, yeah, you look like a moron, Albert, okay? You're cosplaying for friggin' Cyan Radio Cell's girlfriend, and here you are in friggin' full Nosferatu mode, ready to go outside and friggin' put on his stupid moonlight to turn into Nosferatu. And then after that, you're friggin' gonna, here's a picture of you just before you get tased by the Florida sheriff because you're such a loser on private property as a homeless 
homeless bum. And then right after you get tased, the next morning you wake up from the friggin' sheriff's police office. And here you are getting away from the uh, police office, looking for the next hit of drug to stick down your goddamn veins because you're a homeless bum, uh, Albert Menendez. You're a homeless bum. You're a five foot two shrimp. You're a shirtless prick. And you're boxing raccoons for that last piece of blueberry muffin. KKK Carl doesn't shower or clean his room. Nope, he's a fat lard that sits in his room like a frat, decrepit human being. CPE, greetings, command, elimination, congrats all. Thank you so much, CPE. Welcome to be here. Carl, be nice to that goat. Yeah, indeed, Carl. Stop making love to farm animals, Carl, because that's the only action you're ever going to get is bending over a goddamn donkey, you prick. Haunted with, how's it going? How's it going, haunted with? How are you doing? Welcome to another burial of uh, Darius Truxton. A up wisp. I've been training my cat to piss on <laughs> training my fat to piss on Carl. Well, yes, indeed. Look for a fat lard with his own gravitational pull that when you friggin' open his fat flaps, there's a friggin' roll of cheese in there. Cause this guy doesn't shower properly. He smells like dirty laundry. He smells like a friggin' toilet because Carl is a fat idiot. Hater dungeon at Bell Manor. Hey Ron, greetings. Hope everyone is doing good. Yes, we are. We are doing good. CPE. Even Freddy will finger Darius. Ew, yeah, of course, Darius. Darius, that's what Darius wants. He wants men to bend him over on his premium futon. Why do you think he went and simped to LA Knight? Why do you think he has this adult table and his first second in command is friggin' Prince of Diapers launching rocket deuces in an adult crink crinkles tiger diaper? That's why. Darius loves being bent over by James Campbell, loves being bent over by friggin' uh, Prince of Fall, and that's all he wants to do is make love to men. The Cali Man MX, scumbag seller of the week, 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 goes to friggin' penis rear slot. But in this episode right here, this live stream, is definitely Darius Truxton. He's a scumbag son of the week. You know why? Because he didn't even go to his father's funeral. Instead, he'd rather bury his two dead cats than think twice about his dad. This piece of trash, all his dad wanted to do was watch friggin' Star Trek with him and go and maybe learn about Pat Captain Picard and number two Riker, Data, LaFour, George, Captain Crusher. That's all he wanted to do. But instead, Queefy Boy wanted to go in his basement, stick his, stick his uh, friggin' thumb up his crack, and watch Freddy Got Fingered. And we have another super chat from CPE, 199 pounds. Thank you so much, CPE, for the doll, for the one pound 99 pence. 2772, alt account one, D Reed has a peanut for a D, D <laughs> for a DK. And let's bring up friggin' uh, this ain't real laugh dog. Where are you, uh, uh, D Reed? This ain't real laugh dog. This ain't real laugh dog. Well, guess what? It was real life when Darius Truxton got fired from his job at Franklin Empire and then cried at the docks with his friggin' tricycle talking about a Mortal Kombat review. This ain't real laugh dog. This ain't real laugh dog. Well, guess what, D-Read? It was real life when Darius Truxton was looting, losing channels and you were right there bending over for Queefy Boy. Right there bending over. You loved it, D-Read. You loved it. You and your yellow peanut Eminem looking head and your stupid dent in your goddamn head with the Rolodex of D-Picks. You loved friggin' bending over for Darius Truxton. You sickened me. And we have another super chat from Ron Demon. $5. Thank you so much, my friend. Queen TV audience, handicap wasist, short bus rider rabbit dude, wannabe wankster D. Reed, mouth breather cheetah man, Justy Cox, and public masturbator Albert Menencuck, chicken legs, Dauschen, and there's nothing they can do about it except... Uh, Silverback Mountain. Hey, Dean TV, you have a greasy neck beard that disgusts me. Hey, Dean TV, you hang around with a bunch of losers every single time in our goddamn live chat. Hey, Dean TV, you have lost the rights to your own eight-year-old son. So to compensate, you have to come on YouTube, have a panel with Short Bus Carl and Short Bus Rabbit Dude pretending that they are your kids. Well, guess what? No one wants to be your kid, Dean TV. You're a failed YouTuber with 56,000 subscriber channel, and you can't even break. 30 views per video. Hey, Dean TV, you're a failed wrestler. You're a failed jobber. You're a failed friggin' YouTuber. That's why you're in the stands right now holding up a sign that says Keith Elwood fears pizza instead of being in the ring and living out your dream. Hey, Dean TV, you have no microphone skills. You're a piece of garbage. No one likes you. The whole community doesn't like you, and you have to cope. Rob Winning. KKK Carl is such a piece of crap that not even cl closet lewis talks to him yeah and then we got lewis diarrhea hey lewis your head is so deformed it's so disgusting look at the shape of your head are you a baby alien from one angle 
Are you a RoboCop with no helmet on from the second angle? And are you a turnip head from the third angle? Tell me right now, Luis Pera. All right. You got your stupid little duck face going. Look at this guy. So look how ugly he is. He's cross-eyed. Isn't he telling people he's not cross-eyed? No, you are cross-eyed, Luis Pera. You're cross-eyed. And here you are with your deformed head and your triforce of cuck and your stupid little see-through mesh tank top that you use at the goddamn friggin' uh, – in the closet club when you freaking twerk perfectly like the cuck that you are. And hey, Luis Pura, I know you're watching right now because you're a cuck. And guess what? I got something for you, you stupid prick. How about this one, huh? You want to sit there and act like you're some tough guy? Well, guess what? You, you're you ugly as hell. You have a receding hairline. How do you like this one, you prick? Put down your mommy's butter knife, Louis Pera. Put it down. Your mommy's still back. She needs to sleep, all right? Stop making noise in your goddamn mommy's living room, laying on that same goddamn mattress which you were birthed on in the middle of your goddamn living room, you stupid prick. Put down your mommy's flashlight. Put down your mommy's butter knife. You're not scaring anyone with your little twig arms, boxing a stupid thing. You're punching like a girl. You're a friggin' loser. Greetings, King Nacho Man. Wispy, my man. Shut up, Daushin. Darius needs to buy a new Double XL N64 shirt that's not faded at the Toronto Game Expo. Queefy boy, if he's smart enough, stay away from the Toronto Game Expo. Because guess what? Every finger is going to be pointing right at you, Queefy boy. The snakes are going to be there watching, and we're going to watch your every single move. Who are you going to propose to next? What e girl cosplaying are you going to propose to next? Maybe you're going to propose to friggin' YQ. Hey, Darius Trucks, remember when he told YQ not to cut it off? Remember that one? Yeah, how did that one feel, you prick? You're a friggin' loser. Beyond the lookout for a Toronto Blue Jays game jersey. Yes, indeed do, because that's the only shirt he has. Here he is, simping for LA Knight, wishing that he got bent over. Slotham's shirts being sold at the Toronto Game X, or I hope they are, because guess what? The wrath of Slotham will never stop, indeed, and friggin' Darius Chuckson will get completely, completely buried. And we have another super chat from Ron DeMond. Thank you so much for the two bucks, my friend. Gotta go help my kid lives with me, do homework. Yeah, good for you, Ron DeMond. Unlike friggin' Queen TV, who can't friggin' have his kid throughout the week of Monday to Friday. You're not there, Dean TV, to help out your son do the homework, do the assignments, uh, do a study for the test, Make sure your kid doesn't play games and does his homework and chores. You're not there for that, Queen TV. Instead, you pick your son up at friggin' Friday night, goof around on stiff friggin' father-son beatdown, treating his head like a friggin' uh, stupid uh, speed bag. And then after that, you act like a cuck coming on friggin' uh, YouTube, acting like you're some tough guy. No, Dean TV, you're not a tough guy. You are not a six foot two Greek god. You're some loser, Dean TV, that procreated with the most ugliest woman known to mankind, Jasmine friggin'. That, that's who you did. And we have another super chat from Gavin G2E. Thank you so much for the South African 100, my friend. I appreciate everything that you do. And you say, Rabbit Dude really needed that job. He indeed did. Rabbit Dude did. Because look at his deformed forehead here, okay? Do you honestly think that any employer is going to hire this friggin' deformed head looking autistic short bus riding prick rabbit dude? Hey, rabbit dude, your stepdad doesn't care about you. He just humps your mom. Hey, rabbit dude, your real mom doesn't care about you. She just framed your pictures because she felt sorry for you because all you do, rabbit dude, is friggin' sit in your goddamn room waiting for someone to go live so you can sniff out a goddamn monitor wrench. That's you, rabbit dude. You sit there in your little pajamas 24-7 crying on the internet like a a little girl in the fetal position on your mattress, seething and raging at the fact that I'm here burying you, I'm burying the friggin' rats, I'm burying your little keep it real stream, and there's nothing you can do about it except cry because you lost your wrench to Buckeye Bunny. Hey, rabbit dude, you're such a short bus rider that you lied about getting a job dressing up as a goddamn rabbit in a mall. That's you, rabbit dude. You're pathetic. 
you're a piece of trash. I don't like your face. I don't like the shape of your head. I don't like how deformed it is. I don't like your stupid eyes, your nose, your mouth. I hate you all. I hate your dumb little haircut. It looks like you put a bowl over your head. You friggin' disgust me, ragged rabbit dude. I own your friggin' life and I own I live rent free in your goddamn head. What are you gonna do about it, rabbit dude? Go cry to Dean, who's friggin' grooming you and will end up bending you over. You're in your mid-30s, rabbit dude, and you never had a job in your life. You're a pathetic sack of crap. Thank you so much, Gavin G2E, for the ZAR 100. I really appreciate it. Let's go to the next live chat right here. Here we are right here. Let's go. Okay, here. Oh, so we got Zed the dropout, huh? You want to friggin' talk smack? Why don't you stop spamming and actually friggin' uh, oh, I'll get to you in a second. Let me let me go down the friggin' uh, comment list first, you prick, huh? Don't worry, Zed the cuck. I'm coming to you soon. Guess what? I'm running a show here. Guess what? My live chat is la lit. Your live chat sucks, Zed the cuck. You're garbage, Zed the cuck. You sit there and bore everyone, whoever you are, Dean TV, Louis Pura, Baby Alien Head. You got nothing on me at all. All right. Sloth, I'm sure. Do you guys know the way to Casa Loma? I want to see Professor X. Who are you talking about? I am not sure. Maybe you're talking about some ball. You're talking about, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Be on the lookout for Toronto Blue Jays jersey. Yo, Doshin, be kindly limiting my YouTube time lately. Yeah, Doshin, you chicken leg piece of crap. Hello, Taco Bell. Wouldn't that be something? Indeed, it would. James Campbell thinks the end of the world is approaching because he hangs out with Darius Truxton. James Campbell's a short bus rider that married a 400 pound fat Estella wife and then came on YouTube with a 14 current gold chain and bragged about it. Oh God, is Daushin here taking notes for the PSG? Yeah, Daushin, go back to your short bus group of friggin' Dean TV and friggin' rabbit dude Albert Menendez publicly whacking off in the bush and then acting like he's cool. No, Albert is a five foot two shrimp that wishes Cyan would friggin' be. Drop the stream yard link. Hey, Zed the dropout. Why don't you shut your mouth? I have a freaking stream to run here. Where's your stream? Where's your YouTube channel, huh? You cuck. You got nothing, Zed the Dropout. You're a piece of trash. That's why you're the dropout, because you're a freaking loser. It's been a sad week for James Campbell. It indeed has. And we still don't know what happened to Estella. James Campbell, tell me right now what happened to Estella. And guess what? I got something for you, James, huh? You want to act like a Mac Daddy? You want to act like you're some cool guy with a 14 karat gold chain and $400 in 20s like you're some tough guy? Well, guess what? You're a friggin' joke. to Estella, James Campbell. What happened to Estella? Let me know now, you stupid prick, huh? You want to come here and try to derail the stream? Bring it. Bring it, you stupid prick. I want to see you come here, James Campbell, with your tough little gold, 14 current gold chain, acting like a Mac Daddy. Meanwhile, you pro, you married a freaking ugly, fat lard, just saying that looks like freaking Carl. If you don't drop the link, it proves you're worse than Gerald. Shut up, Zed the dropout. Dalshan loves the roast. Of course he does. Me too, with me. Too many important calls uh, to make. Uh, Gerard fans keep crying. Of course they keep crying. Yeah, Gerard fans. The guy friggin' took 600K and didn't donate it for 10 years. Stop acting like a cuck, Zed the dropout. Drop the wink. Hello, he ain't dropping nothing. Shut up, Daushin Nubin. You're a friggin' chicken leg loser that talks 0.5 seconds per hour. You have no brain. What do you even you on YouTube except waste your time and lives on end? What kind of ever, whatever kind of actual accomplishment have you done on YouTube, Daushin, except acting like a friggin' loser at your goddamn live streams? No one likes you. No one here likes to hear your voice, and you're boring as hell, okay, Daushin Nubin? You're a stupid loser. I'm a fan of Darius. I want to debate you. Shut up, Zed. Darius, the same guy who proposed 
goes to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo toys. Darius, the same guy who friggin' got fired from Frank Lampard and cried about it. Darius, the same guy who married a girl in Final Fantasy XI online and then creeped her out in Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy XI online. You mean that guy, huh? Zed the dropout, you stupid prick. And we have another super chat from Ron Demond, two bucks. Thank you so much, my friend. Slotha makes more money than Queen TV's 50K, 58,000 subscribers. Yeah, and you know what? Dean TV is so butthurt at the fact that I get super chats and he never gets super chats on any of his streams. Whether it's his real channel, Dean TV, whether it's his alt account, Dan, Dean TV is so butthurt that he's around a bunch of losers there. Rabbit dude, Cheetah Man, Carl, Albert Menencock. You got Albert Menendez crying on the internet because he can't afford $60 to get a new phone, a new Obama phone, so he can come on YouTube again. You got freaking Rabbit dude with no job in his mid 30s like a loser. You got Carl who's a waste of space. You got Cheetah Man the mouth breather. You got Louis Pera who's freaking twerking perfectly in the closet club. Dean TV is so butthurt at the fact that not one of his friends ever super chatted him once in his life and he's jealous of my freaking super chat. He's jealous that I can come on here with no script and just talk off the top of my head and entertain people while Dean TV sits there and freaking wipes butts for a living at Arkham Asylum crying on the internet 24 freaking 7. Keep crying Dean and keep Keep crying, Keith Elwood, huh? Guess what? Keith Elwood fears pizza. DT put his bad e bad eggs in the wrong basket. Yeah, DT's a friggin' loser that smells like cat piss, and he hasn't cleaned the dirty vent in friggin' six years. LMFAO, he's a cuck. Hey, Evo, hey, Evo, hey, Evo, hey, Evo, Ricardo Cody. Listen, you failed father. Go back to Brazil, and you might want to attend your fail, your freaking daughter there trying to make a living. Oh, it's okay, Ricardo. Your best friend married your ex-wife. It's fine. There's a real father there taking care of your daughter. You don't have to do anything, Ricardo. Uh, happy St. Patty's Day, James. How's that Guinness out of the can? Yeah, James Campbell, huh? You want to drink yourself into oblivion, uh, hey, creeping out girls at the bar with your cheap beer? Hey, James Campbell, no one likes you. You have a hobgoblin nose, and your eyes are very short, bus like The guy is a huge cuck and phony. You know who's a huge cuck and phony? Darius Truxton, because he banned the word Slotham from his live chat, huh? He thought he was a tough guy, and he had to ban my name from his live chat. Hello? Hello, Big Bulletin News. He banned my name from his live chat. That's how much of an effect I have. A Darius Cuxton fan. LMA Ricardo to the shut up, Dauschen. Why is Darius not a cuxie? I'm going to be, I'm going to my made up girlfriends today uh, and, and pretend I have slept with her. Yeah, the Queefsta. Darius Cuxton lying that he has this imaginary girlfriend with two kids, selling a house, going through a divorce. Dude. You don't even have a car, Darius Truxton. You're in your mid-40s, and you have never driven a car in your goddamn life. Darius is not a virgin. Of course, first of all, the only sex he's ever had is paid for by friggin' prostitutes in friggin' disgusting Hamilton downtown. Second of all, he's never had a girlfriend in his life. And third of all, he made up his imaginary girlfriend. He thinks he's some sort of Mac Daddy, when in reality, he lives in a friggin' apartment full of cockroaches and two rats holding up the goddamn Ethernet wire. Has he shown strength? We all want to know if he has. No, he hasn't. Darius Truxton instead showed the opposite. He's a coward that runs away when any drunk kind of drama comes right to his face. Hey, Queefy boy, keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. Slotham is a clown. Well, guess what? My sub count doesn't say that. My views don't say that. This lit chat in this live chat doesn't say that. I'm growing on YouTube. I'm never going to stop growing. The show is going to continue whether you like it or not. And your lover boy, Darius Truxton, is going to get continued to get friggin' uh, roasted. Daoshin Luzi, his wrenchy, he's supporting e beggar Din TV. Of course Daoshin does, because Daoshin is one of the biggest trolls on the internet with no life, nothing to do, no job, sits at home smoke, rolling up his smoked cigarettes like a loser in friggin' Australia, friggin' cranking it to koala bears. LOL. Darius won't debate Slotham. Donald Reed diddles children and is afraid of getting exposed in real life. This ain't real life, dog. This ain't real life, dog. Well, it was real life when you friggin' won your stupid little 1996 baseball award, which no one cares about. Why the hell would you flex a 1996 baseball award that you got in a friggin' peewee baseball in high school? No one cares, Donald Reed. What we do care about, Donald Reed, is you running that Keep It Real stream and ending it real quickly as soon as you realize that I own your life. I run your life. I destroyed you on your own Keep It Real stream. That's why you had to stop it and give it to friggin' baby alien head Louis Pera and continue on with the heat stream. 
Slotham is an endless legend. Thank you, Level 1 Alliance. You are an endless legend because you got Darius Truxton fired from Frank Lampard, and all Queefy Boy could do was cry about it on the internet. Okay, Ricard, this guy is begging right now. Total hypocrite. Stop copying my jokes, Harry Chewbacca. Listen, Ricardo Cody, you steal my jokes 24-7, 365. You constantly say, Ricardo Cody, that you do not watch Slotham. When you look at your goddamn video red line, you can see it's completed. You watch all my videos, you care about all my videos, and you copy my friggin' jokes, and you wish you were me, and you wish you had my friggin' views and my sub count. I will debate Slotham. Do you do your worst, homie? Zay Jaina, little Timmy can't even play Earthworm Gym 1 on the original hardware because Penis Rear Slot has 14 copies of Wii Sports in his Dust Might Invested Band. And well, guess what? Uh, Queefy Boy also likes to play uh, games, but he sucks at games. Darius Truxton constantly cries on the internet because he can't freaking complete a basic normal game that an eight-year-old can play on a freaking Nintendo Switch. Instead, he cries on stop. Hey, guys, remember when Darius Truxton streamed? Donkey Kong 64 for friggin' five to six hours every single day. That's a guy that has no life. Darius has been ruined. Oh, look who it is. It's Shinra. Hey, Shinra, you stupid beta mill cuck. There is no way in hell Orbilology is ever going to be interested in you, Shinra. And I got something for you, Shinra. You're a piece of trash, all right? Stop saying, hi, Emily, going to friggin' Starbucks, getting a friggin' cafe latte, sitting on a goddamn couch with your feet crossed and being like, hi, Emily, let's talk about social degrees, Emily. No one cares, Shinra. No one cares about your life, Shinra. I've completely defeated you, Shinra. How butthurt were you, Shinra, when you completely exposed the fact that you're simping for Orbilology? AK. Hi, Emily. We are not going to leave Emily alone. Shut up, Shinra. You're a cuck. Not much of an argument. And yeah, Zed, bless you for trying, but you don't realize how bad it looks for DT to be sending flying monkeys like yourself. Yeah, Darius Truxton, why don't you come here yourself, huh? Your little Eminem haircut, flood shorts, and your friggin' cat piss smelling double XL shirt. Come here yourself and let's see how tough you are. You're not a tough guy. I've destroyed your life. Every single day I come on here and destroy you, and all you do is cry in your little live streams talking about wrestling this and oh, uh, wrestling that. No one cares, Darius. No one cares. Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. Droppy D. Linky. Ben Mares. I'm a fan of Darius Truxton and want to be debate. Well, guess what? I, I actually went after Darius Truxton myself. Why does Darius Truxton need to send his friggin' little groupies after me? Hey, Darius, come at me yourself. Make a video yourself, Darius Truxton, sitting at your kitchen table with your TV dinner and your dirty vent above your head and your stupid Esca water bottles and your dumb little Amiibo toys. May come at me yourself, Darius Truxton, because that's what I did. I brought the heat right to your face, and we have something for you too, Darius Truxton. You want to sit there and act like you're some Mac Daddy and that Ursha Gaming is going to marry you? Well, guess what? There ain't no way in hell a stage two e-girl is going to marry a poor man that friggin' cleans turds out of urinals for a living. All right, Darius Truxton, you're a pathetic sack of crap. And how do you like this one, loser? <laughs> Keep crying, Queef. 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 Because guess what? There ain't no way in hell friggin' Ursha Gaming is ever going to marry you. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. She found a Chad to propose to her. She has a friggin' 100K subscriber channel. What does she want to do with friggin' little Queefers there sitting in cat piss with his friggin' channel that's going to get taken away anyway? I humiliate you, you hairy Chewbacca. Ricardo Cody, your best friend, married your ex-wife when he came to friggin' America. How does that one feel? He needs to drop the link. Me and Z are from Darius Discord, and we have Darius Discord. 
Discord. Uh, Darius Chuck's in Discord. Are you kidding me? Darius does not have a Discord. He's a friggin' loser on the internet, all right? He friggin' works as a turd cleaner at goddamn friggin' part-time at warehouses. He's a piece of trash that friggin' got fired from Franklin Empire. Why can't Darius make a video himself? Daushin Desperado. I'm a fan of Darius Truxton, and I want to debate. I'm sure you do. Hi, Emily. Why doesn't he drop the link? Respect slot ham. Keith likes men. Carl is a tard. Both crap their diapers. Yeah, the adult. Remember, it's the adult. Di it's the diaper changing table, aka the adult. The adult table. And we have the legend heavy metal gamer show. I got something to show for you too as well. How do you like this one, Queefy boy? Well, guess what? There's gonna be another welfare check for Robert very soon, so you might want to prepare for that and friggin' lube up when Robert comes over to bend you over, uh, Darius Truxton. Hello. Hi, Robert. I am not happy with you. You hung up on me, and I'm checking in on my good friend, Keith. I don't give a shit, okay? Talk to him, not me. I want to know if he's okay. <laughs> Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. I want to know if you're okay, uh, James Campbell. Robert wants to tell us. And what did Robert say? I don't give it. I don't give it. How does that one feel, huh, Ro uh, Darius Truxton? Hey, Queefy boy, I heard you crying in your stream yesterday saying, I don't want my landlord being content. I'm so, I don't want Robert. Shut up. We'll do whatever the hell we want. Snakes have leverage over you. Heavy Metal Gamer Show owned your life. Alt Account 1 came onto the scene and owned your life. Level 1 Online came onto the scene, got you fired from Franklin Empire, owns your life. The DT Alt Account owned your life. Darius Truxton, you have to sit there and take it like a little cuck that you are because we're going to have the wrath and we're going to continue to destroy you. Why does he drop the linky? Darius can't debate, he cries. Hello, you don't know how it works and come in demanding, hmm, sound familiar. I have been a fan of Darius for years and know the truth of why this beef started. I want to debate. Darius Truxton tried to control my comment section. He thought he was some tough guy that could tell me how to run my channel. Uh -uh. That ain't going to cut it. Now look at him. Now look at him a year later crying on the internet constantly, banning the word Slotham, uh, threatening to shut down his stream if people continue to talk about me in the live chat. Alt account one. Ricardo Cody likes Danny Dolfo's pecker in his booty hole. Of course, because Ricardo Cody is secretly in the closet, and he loves Danny Dolphin. He loves men. That's why he's sexually attracted to Darius Truxton. Why do you think when Darius Truxton streams, one of the people in there is Ricardo Cody bending over? Because that's you, Ricardo. You have a sticker of friggin' Superman and friggin' Batman kissing on your goddamn table. You disgust me. Holy crap, it's alt account one. Alt account one. <clears throat> Alt, alt account, applause, 2772. When Retardo Cody laughs, it sounds like a dolphin being gra <laughs> graped. Okay, indeed. Indeed it does. Darius Truxton has a lot of money. No, he does not. He's a poor loser that eats TV dinners 24-7. I'm a field father. Yes, you are, Ricardo. You friggin' left your your daughter of five years old back in Brazil, and you came to friggin' America to goof around in flea markets. You're a friggin' loser. He just do 28 minutes of rambling. Shut up, Daush. That's why you're sitting here la uh, listening to me. That's why you're sitting here entertained because I can say things at the top of my head. And when you head on over to Dean TV stream, a boar fest, a big boar fest at Dean TV stream. Yeah, let's, let's just kill the stream, guys. You got Dean TV, Cheetah Man, Carl, and Daushin Newman, the four most boringest people I've ever heard in my goddamn life. All hail King Alt Account One. The legend has returned who ruined my life. Yeah, that's true, Darius Truxton. Alt Account One completely burned. Buried Darius Trucks in 2772, Queefy boy. Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. Darius Truxton has a lot of fake girlfriends. Indeed, he does. Slotham is lying. I'm a fan of Darius and know the truth. Darius fears pizza. 2772, Queefy boy. Keith Elwood fears pizza indeed. Have you met a listen, 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 listen. Darius lives at Snow Manor. I'm Darius's new boyfriend. Darius is very intelligent and entertaining in his street. No, he isn't. He is the most boringest sack of crap. Crying on... Constantly crying about wrestling and constantly crying about the fact that people are mentioning my name and he can't handle the heat anymore. Jesus, this is ridiculous. Hey, everyone. How you been? Small Manor Apartments. Gaming. Ha, ha, ha. Listen, listen, listen. Hey, Slotham. 
The dropout, keep crying, loser. Amazing Bill Manor. James Campbell got dumped by Estella. He did. A 400-pound, fat Estella pig farm animal dumped this piece of trash that got evicted from his house. There's a smelly queef uh, living here. Of course it is. Electric Madness. Donald Reed doesn't have time for YouTube nowadays, homie. He's busy. Yeah. You know how annoying it is to come on YouTube and hear Donald Reed, the first thing he says all the time, I don't know what's going on, dog. I, I just ain't real laugh, dog. I'm dusting wine bottles at Circle K, dog. Shut up. Okay, shut up. You're sounding like Queefy Boy, constantly complaining at the fact you don't know what's going on when Darius Truxton clearly knows what's going on. Guys, remember... <clears throat> Remember when Darius Truxton said that he doesn't know who Sean Murray is and he doesn't know who Broken Dreams is? Shut up, Darius. Let me remind you, Sean Murray is a fat cupcake eating fat lard that friggin' laid on his hospital bed crying on Twitter saying that he missed his insulin shot. And then he's friggin' bragging that the nurses are playing Nintendo DS with him. Meanwhile, his fat dad here stretching out the goddamn seat cushion of his goddamn mattress with this stupid converter orbiting around his fat gravitational pull gut with a friggin' army hair cut and hey sean murray you sucked the life force out of your friggin poor wife here your poor wife she looks like a female crypt keeper she looks like a catcher's mitt she's a thousand years old and she has decaying teeth that's you sean murray you have fake giveaways instead of actually uh, giving people fake giveaways you're giving them mako energy that you stole from her goddamn friggin uh, uh, disgusting wife sean murray you're a loser Prince of Fallen is a virgin incel who wears a diaper and launches a rocket deuce in it. Heavy Metal Gamer Show, time to go, go time to go mow my lawn. Unlike Queef, he doesn't have a lawn. He lives in a Section 8 apartment. Even if he had a lawn, he wouldn't mow it. He would be too busy, uh, too busy getting booty blasted by Cyan Razor Cell, who's a friggin' genetic freak. Look at this chin. Look at Cyan Razor Cell's enormous jaw with a chin like Buzz Lightyear, all right? You got this going on. And then you got Cyan Razor Cell seething and raging in the comments section under alt accounts 24-7. 24-7, Cyan. You are so jealous of my success on YouTube. It's laughable, all right? It's okay, Cyan. You got kicked out of your mommy's house when one of the snakes contacted friggin' your mommy uh, on Instagram. Your, your millionaire mommy, a doctor. Your millionaire daddy, a doctor, who you, uh, Cyan Radio saw your cell phone is in your daddy's name because you don't have a job, Cyan. You're sitting at home like a little cuck wearing your mommy's friggin' doctor's coat cosplaying on TG Tuesdays with your friggin' stupid little midget torso. Prince of Valen, yes. CPE, you look like a duffer yet. Doushin, you're a pathetic loser and you have no life except go to friggin' the PSG support group and cry on the internet to friggin' Dean who's grooming you, the same guy who wipes butts for a living. Stream legends are all here tonight. Yes, they are. Level 1 online legend. Alt account 1 legend. Heavy Metal Gamer Show legend. CPE legend. Rondamon legend. Everyone's a legend in my chat except anyone who friggin' uh, supports uh, Darius Truxton. Ricardo Cody, you are not a legend. You left your daughter in Brazil when she was five years old. Shame on you. More videos about Prince of Fallen, please. <clears throat> LOL Ron. Red Bull ain't here. I'm movie on my all of this. I am done with you, Harry Chewbacca. I'm no longer with the company. Can I help you with something? I'm sorry, William Elwood. I'm sorry that your son is a pathetic sack of crap and he did not want to friggin' watch Star Trek with you and learn something. I am sorry about that at all. CPE, salute. I am no I normally change Prince of I normally change Prince of Rocket Poos. Sometimes one turd lands in my mouth and it feels nice. <laughs> in my mouth. I'm sure that's what Darius. Yeah, Darius Truxton also cleans rocket turds at the goddamn most disgusting warehouse in East Hamilton downtown. The D pick flasher. Yeah, D Reed. The D pick flasher has a Rolodex of D picks ready to flash because he's a friggin' uh, loser. Ricard, oh, we must. Ron, gotta go dinner. Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. Uh, peanuts. Billy Elwood got hired at Frank Lampard in the sky. Indeed, he did. Bon appetit, Rob. Donald Reed is the realest of the real who doesn't have time for this BS anymore. Talk. Yeah, costly lies. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Yet you're still sitting there in Dean's chat acting like a little cuck. 2772 Darius always loses. His name is Donald. Greasy neckbeard full of tears. I pooped. 
I pooped by Dean TV stream. I popped by Dean TV stream. I thought it was a sleep stream. It always is. Dean TV is the biggest loser entertainer I've ever seen in my life. Uh, we have 10 minutes left of this, guys. His name is Donald. He was a showgirl. If I streamed and all who showed up was Rabbit Dude and Carl, I'd quit the internet. I would quit too. I would quit too. That's why a freaking Rabbit Dude and Carl are never going to be allowed because they're freaking a bore fest. Rabbit Dude is a jobless loser that sits at home on his mattress crying on the internet 24 friggin' 7. The peanut sized brain of Darius could not comprehend Star Trek. No surprise there. Absolutely. Albert wants the StreamYard link so he can bend over for <laughs> Yeah, that's what Albert does all the time. Albert's main job on YouTube is bending over for other men. He bent over for Cyan Razor Salt. He bent over for Darius Truxton. He bent over for Dean TV. He bent over for King of All Buttocks. He bent over for Carl. He even bent over for Carl. That's how pathetic Albert Menenkuk is. <clears throat> Darius Truxton agrees with Jared Genesis. Yeah, it's the adult table, remember? It's the diaper changing table, aka the adult table. Jared Genesis would make a better son than my queefy boy. Yes, Jared Genesis, a fat loser in his room with no job with man boobs, just like Carl. If you were forced to watch a live stream, which one would you watch? DT? <laughs> I would definitely watch a Darius Truxton okay, stream because Geek Getaway is one of the most boringest sacks of crap on planet Earth. He's the most biggest piece of trash, slobbering, making some freaking fake journalist regurgitating Kotaku articles, say, calling himself a success story. Why don't you be entertaining like me, Geek Getaway? Why don't you be entertaining my league like me where I don't have to freaking make a script or prepare anything? I just come on YouTube and it's just a lit chat, lit audience, lit stream. What are you going to do about it, Geek? Shut up. Alt account one, the legend. Hola, CPE, Rad Rob, Haunted in chat. Much love to everyone. Much love to you too, Alt account one, because 2772, Keith Elwood fears friggin' pizza. Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. Keep crying, Queef. What are you going to do about it, Queefy boy? 2772. And that's the guy right there on the screen. You see him? Alt account one with the friggin' Tony Montana avatar. That's the guy that found out. 20, 2772. Smell manner. Would you watch podcast with Dean TV, Leo does? And oh my God, one of the three, the three most boringest people ever on planet Earth on a podcast together. Get the F out of here. Queef getaway. Uh, Queef Getaway, at Dean TV and anyone that got within six feet of that stream would go into a coma. Good to see you, Alt Account 1. Rabbit Duke. Rabbit Dewey. Did you think rap music contributed to ruining DT's brain? No, what contributes to DT's brain being ruined is him smelling cat piss and constantly simping and cupping, cucking for women. This is the same piece of trash that friggin' instead of washing dishes at Boston Pizza, he's friggin' hiding behind a pillar staring at the server's black leggings. Couldn't do that anymore, Electric Madness. Dean is too embarrassing to watch. It sucks one's life force to be exposed to such dark matter. Dean is so boring overall. He's the biggest sack of crap I've ever seen in my god damn life rap music rotted uh clit tv's brain darius was defending jerry genesis that tells you tells you all you need is rabbit dude a secret furry fan i'm sure he is hey rabbit dude prince of diapers is waiting for you to change your diaper put on a little onesie and bend you over on your little mattress there that you howard stern's penis <laughs> what <laughs> any diaper news the squishy one it's hot down here diaper is truxton I'm going to bed in five minutes. No, you're not. Okay. No, you're not, Albert Menencuck. Okay. You're outside in Florida like a shirtless prick being homeless with your stupid blue sleeping bag. I love the snakes more than my son, Keith Elwood. Yes, we have actually put Keith in this goddamn place. Daushin kill. Yes, Daushin does kill your stream. Stop friggin' putting Daushin on your friggin' rant streams, Ricardo, you friggin' moron. Anyone here gets more views than dro droopy jowls. Robert doesn't give. Robert doesn't give me. Cody Bell paid yet more money for his already failed channel, knowing that it will never bring it back. How desolate must your psyche be to be that with your wiping money? Yeah, Dad, Dean TV, wiping butts for a living, eh? How does it feel, Dean TV, making minimum wage at Arkham Asylum, wiping butts and seeing death all around you? How does it feel, Darius uh, Dean TV, cleaning turds out of diapers while your friggin' lover boy, Darius Truxton, cleans turds out of urinals? I caught Albert cucking for John Riggs on Twitter. Albert is the biggest cuck. I'm telling you, he thinks he's a tough guy here, friggin' bullying 14-year-olds. No, no, no. Albert is a big cuck, and he always will be a big cuck. He's the most disgusting sack of crap. 
one of the alts is missing. I bet it was William Elwood for real. What kitty game will Darius play next? Perhaps Barbie? Yeah, because he's going to friggin' crank it to Barbie because Darius Truxton will never have a girlfriend if his life depended on it. We have seven minutes left of this, guys. Queef will get a game over screen on a color dinosaur. Yeah, on color a dinosaur. Justice for little Timmy. Justice indeed. Justice for friggin' William Elwood because that friggin' guy had, was a good dad to Darius Truxton and Queefy Boy threw it away because he's a cock. Queef says... Uh, in the closet little boy so often that it has to be projecting. Yeah, of course. Darius Truxton lost to be bent over by Prince of Fallen on the premium futon. Jesus, a DT Discord. Yeah, there is no friggin' DT Discord. What do you talk about there on Z? Yeah, Z, I want to know what you talk about there on the friggin' uh, the Darius Truxton Discord. Satan is my landlord now. They say laughter is a spice of life. You're just digging us a mass grave. You do know that DT has gone on record many times saying he doesn't give a crap about his supporters and only cares about himself. So your defense of this soggy cotton wool boy, DT, that's true. Remember when Darius Truxton said he's a self, a Volp uh, released a video in DM saying that Darius Truxton only cares about himself. That's true. That is true. He's a selfish prick. And you guys are still over there, Dave C, bending over. You're still over there, DJ Rudden. Your wife's getting friggin' Tyrone and you just want to go over to a Queefy Boy stream and make love to him. It's pathetic. I'll be streaming after this. Come on the panel and tell us about it over there. You welcome Z. Yeah, Z. Z, go on, head on over to CPE's panel and go talk about it with her. I want to know. I'm so curious to see what's in the friggin' Darius Trucks and goddamn uh, Discord. He's desperate for his 50 bucks. Daushin, you have no job. You're a loser. You're, fr you're freaking collecting government assistance. Sit there and shut up like the little waste bucket you are. No, you don't. No, you just didn't get someone to do that. You demanded it happens. Slotham is jealous that Gerard the Lard came up with those scams. That's why you talk crap about it. Gerard's a fat lard, just like friggin' Carl, who's also a fat lard. This racist prick Carl sat there and said racist stuff about Mexicans. Then I find out later on this guy was playing racist cards Tunes. He bans friggin' Luke's Awakening. He bans this guy. They call him out on it, and then Carl ran like a little cuck that he is and blamed it on his goddamn vision. How pathetic is that? Well, with arguments like that, no wonder people are. Slotham and alt account one equals endless legends 24 7, 365. Add yourself into that level one online as well, because you got Queefy Boy fired from Franklin Empire. Little Queefers got fired, and all they did was cry about it at the docks of Hamilton with his little friggin' pink tricycle. Living the life, uh, living the life sloth them in our faces. You're damn right, and you're jealous, Doshin. You're doubt, you're jealous because you listen to every single one of my videos. I know you do, because you have no life. You sit there waiting for someone to go live so you can go on it. Of course you're gonna watch my videos, Dowson. Sit there, shut up, and support me, and give me that goddamn view, you stupid prick. We'll never pay. You have no money, Doshin, to pay. You collect government assistance, rolling your friggin' goddamn cigarettes with a goddamn koala bear in your stupid Australian place. First of all, Slotham is a legend, which is what friggin' King of All Buttocks said. The 27, 27, 72, we have pictures, Queefy Boy. Yes, we do, Queefy Boy. Yeah, pictures are going to come out real soon. That's true. That is 100% true. The pictures that will come out soon will, guy, will blow your guy's mind. We'll blow it as well. I got more dirt on this Queefy twerp. Albert bent over for rigs. We have four minutes left of this, guys. Very true that Darius is incapable of giving support. Time and time again, he has shown this. Indeed, he has. Fatal Vision made short must curl cry. Yes, he did. Hello, that's a good one. Damn, stream. Fatal Vision gives life advice from his mommy's basement. Of course he does. He's also a fat lard, just like friggin' Carl. Dean, I'm helping people wiping their butts TV. I think Queef will play Banjo-Kazooie next. Shut up, Doshin. Been a good and victory for all. Many thanks, Sloth. And big love, everyone. Big love to you, CP, as well. Thank you for all your guys' support as well. We have two minutes left of this guy. Darius buried his cat in, in the litter box. Yeah, he, bur he buried his cat in the litter box. And that's why it's decaying right there. Darius is such a fat, uh, uh, lazy prick that he has not cleaned his litter box, which is under his washroom sink, stinking of all the friggin' small manners. It's friggin' pathetic. Doshin has government assistance. He fits right into the adult table. LOL, I guess. And now let's go over all the super chats. We are done with the stream. First, Ron Damon, thank you so much for the two bucks, my friend. There's no comeback for Wasis Carl. Indeed, there isn't. I'm waiting for Carl to come back. 
Plato's Punk, thank you so much for the $9.99. Have a good week. I will have a good week. And you also have a good week as well. The alt account one legend, $1.99. Thank you so much, my friend. $27.72. CPE for the one pound 99 pence. Thank you so much, CPE. $27.72. Chicken legs, alt account one, strong arm. D Reed has a peanut for a uh, for friggin' DK. Uh, Ron DeMond, thank you so much for the $5, my friend. Queen TV audience, handicapped Oasis Carl, short must ride a rabbit dude, wannabe wangster friggin' Donald Reed, a mouth breather cheetah man, Justy Cox, and public masturbator friggin' Albert Menendez, chicken legs Dauschen, and there's nothing they can do about it except Silverback Mountain. Thank you, Ron DeMond, for the two bucks as well. Gotta go help my kid lives with me, do homework. Yeah, Dean TV, Ron DeMond actually lives with his kid and actually helps him do homework. What do you do, Dean TV? You use your son's head as a speed bag goofing around from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Gavin G2E, thank you so much for the ZAR100 from South Africa. Rabbit dude really needs to get, really needed that job. Yeah, dressing up as a goddamn rabbit costume, uh, having kids sit on his lap. He couldn't even do that. How pathetic is rabbit dude? Thank you again, Gavin G2E. And finally, Ron DeMond, two bucks. Slotham makes more money than Queen TV. Queen TV is extremely jealous of the fact that I can come on here and get super chats while that sack of crap Dean TV sits there and cries on the internet to his friggin' short bus group like a pathetic incel. And now we're going to have our sign-off video from the one and only Level 1 Online. Take it away. Oh, hey. I didn't see you walk in there. Welcome back to another Slotham live stream. I'm your special guest, Fish Lips. And I just want to remind you guys, day in, day out, 24-7, 365. There's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet. There's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet. I don't have to sit here and remind you guys that I got Keith Elwood a.k.a. Darius Truxton, fired from his job at Franklin Empire. No, 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 no. The ball's in your court now. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet. There's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you in that live chat. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. The one that's crying about me. Do you know why you're crying about me? Should I remind you why you're crying about me? Because there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.